But so you realize there's nothing saying the uh, advising about COVID-19? No, I know. They've already cancelled two holidays to Greece this summer because of the quarantine that was once there. Now their replacement trip to Marbella is in the balance too. Domini and her partner Melissa are tonight weighing up what's worse, to ignore government advice or be out of pocket again. It makes me feel frustrated, it makes me feel extremely vulnerable. If we do decide to go, our insurance will not cover us anymore. Um, we've got £2,500 now paid to hotels that we know we're not going to get any money back. The government's telling us, do not go, but then we're left with a situation where we've paid for a holiday for the last two years and that money's going to go down the drains. British tourists have still been arriving in Spain today, the majority not for essential travel, but essentially a reflection of the differing approaches from airlines. Airlines don't have to stick to the Foreign Office guidelines actually, whereas tour operators do. So what you'll see is that TUI, for example, has cancelled all of its holidays to mainland Spain up until the 9th of August. But you can still technically fly there with Ryanair, BA and EasyJet. So it is quite confusing. It was all smiles for Stuart George and Alex Dowell in Ibiza last week. But those sunsets are already a distant memory. Instead, rain and quarantine welcome them back to South Wales. Stuart unable to work remotely and with neither able to see their children. It's massively affecting our custody of the children. Like we, we should have our children back now today, which we now have to quarantine for 14 days. So it's affected us quite, quite on a large scale, to be honest, as in work and seeing our children. Employment lawyers warn statutory sick pay is not available either. How weak are the rights of an employee who has to quarantine now when they were on holiday just last weekend? If they can't turn up for work, then they're in a position where they're not likely to be paid for quarantining. They're going to have to quarantine, they might not be paid for this, and potentially their employer might decide to even dismiss them. If you've got less than two complete continuous years of service, then you won't have unfair dismissal rights. Oh, well done. If Dominique's boss says she could work from home during quarantine, they will get on the flight on Saturday. If not, at least Lola will get some extra company. Richard Palo, ITV News.